The greenest home on Bainbridge just got a little greener. Joining us now is B News reporter Brad Gertz. Thanks, Selena. Construction crews have finished installing a green roof on Ed and Joanne Ellis's house. This makes the home more efficient and brings it closer to lead platinum status. Crews started work on the roof the 13th of November. The roof was delivered in square flats that had to be lifted onto the home and slid into place. This is very labor intensive, but as coast design architect Justin Helmbrecht explains, it's well worth it. I'm here with Justin Helmbrecht on the roof of the Ellis House. Now, Justin, you're from Coates Design and you're about to put a great deal of dirt on top of this roof. Why don't you explain why? Sure, uh, we're putting about 1,300 square feet of vegetated roof uh, on top of the, this portion of the roof of the Ellis residence. And uh, it will uh, be used for a couple of uh, great reasons. One is to reduce the, run the, the rainwater runoff on the house by about 25%, and also provides just a great garden area for the Ellis's to escape to. The green roof is just a piece of the energy efficient technology that makes up the Ellis home. Helmbrecht took the time to explain just what it takes to make a home truly green. Uh, the Ellis residence features several uh, green mechanical systems to help make this a lead platinum house. The first of which here is the water furnace, which is connected out to the geothermal loop um, in front of the house. And what this does, it uh, cycles uh, glycol from the geothermal loop and exchanges the heat inside here. Um, and out of the back side of the unit uh, comes hot water and this is fed into a tank here which is used to heat the radiant uh, floors inside uh, it's radiant heating concrete inside um, then uh, some of this water as well is used to supplement the uh, HRV unit the heat recovery ventilator this ventilator exchanges the cold air of the inside with the stale, uh, pardon me, the cold air of the outside with the stale air of the inside. And as they pass through this box here, they exchange the heat. And also the uh, radiant heat um, also supplements here in this heat exchanger. Again, the air comes in, passes by the heat exchanger of the hot water. And by the time the air gets to the inside, it's around 70 degrees. Um, also featured in the mechanical room is the solar hot water. Uh, these gauges here uh, measure the temperature coming in and out um, of the unit. And uh, as we can see later, there's solar hot water panels on the roof. With all that technology, the green roof may look low tech, but it helps reduce the carbon footprint, decreases runoff, and the roof doesn't even have to be mowed. With so many benefits, Islanders can expect to see more green roofs in the future.